Hi everybody, my name is Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Nicole. And we're the Yahoo and Tor YouTube channel. And we this is the Ecclesia, and it is a small Ecclesia, excuse me. And we are happy with it is a small Ecclesia. Hi Graham out there, much love to you. Um, and to anyone in the future. I don't know if uh, YouTube even sends out alerts on this stuff or if nobody's here, but that's okay because we are with the people that we love and we thank you guys very, very much for joining in. Um, let's begin with a quick um, prayer. And if Grant, if it doesn't sound good, let us know. Um, who knows? It could be the jungle internet for all we know. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the walk that you have given us. We thank you for your Torah. We thank you for your son. And Father, we thank you for the the beautiful Torah and the words that you have given to us that we can delight our lives in. And Father, please help us to understand what we're reading today. Help us to, to dial this in and to let the Ruha HaKadosh tell us what we need to understand. We thank you for everything. We ask this in the name of Yahushua. Amen. All right. So, gentlemen, um, I don't know if this we will do this chapter any kind of justice whatsoever, but we will try to begin and um, see how we're going to roll with this. And that is Grandma right there, and much love to you, Graham. And it's always good to see you. <clears throat> and um, this um, is maybe maybe this is a good one since Miss Nicole's here, and um, we have our Grandma here. This might be a good one for all of maybe some good input from all of you all. So let's see what we can do, gentlemen. And um, you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. Everyone, everyone hunky dory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get rolling. Okay, nine. This is Ecclesiasticus nine, Sirach, the book of Sirach. Do not be jealous over the wife of your bosom, and do not teach her an evil lesson against yourself. All right, um, I'm going to tell you this is a. This is, what do you have? Do you have something different? No, it's the same thing. Why'd you give me that look? I, I was just saying this is for like people that beat their wives. It's people that beat their wives? Yeah, it's like this first verse here. Yeah, so, well, do not be jealous over the wife of your bosom. And teach her not an evil lesson. What would that be, so. wife of your bosom? That would be youth, right? I think so. Yeah, so, and teach her not an evil lesson against yourself. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you think this is, a, like, what? Like, abuse? Like abusive husbands. Abusive, yeah, absolutely. Abusive husbands are very, very horrible. There are abusive wives as well. Um, but, it, um, you know, women are dominantly taken over by a lot of men. It's, it's a terrible... Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyone have anything else? Nicole, do you have anything else? No, what's this other say, Dick? Uh, be not jealous of the woman of your bosom and teach her not evil lesson against yourself. I would say, yeah, I mean, a wife of your bosom, it would have something with your youth. We're already slaughtering this. Um, okay, well, um, I, let's roll on. Let's see if we can slaughter it worse. Two, do not give yourself to a woman to trample your strength. Okay, do not give yourself to a woman to trample your strength. I think he's talking about like a um, woman that's not in Torah keeper, one that is like sucking your soul. Yeah, that that would be that would be one thing. I mean, that's one way to qualify the real woman is if the woman is not in Torah, that is not the right woman for you. I mean, she might be a real woman, but she's not the right woman. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and you know, if you you know, this is this is taken from a man's standpoint as well, because that this same advice would go for a man, a woman to a man, right? Um, if, if a woman, you know, gives herself to a bad man, he's going to trample her strength. It's going to be the same kind of scenario. All right, let's roll on to three. Do not go into a whore lest you fall into her snares. Um, I mean, that should be obvious, yeah, this right? This thing we talk about be, Proverbs a lot. Don't go to the strange woman. Don't be the kind of woman. It's an evil thing. Marriage breaking. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you'll fall into all sorts of snares. I mean, not only do you commit adultery, but, I mean, you, you could very well get some sort of STD or, or something... Um, yeah, it's, it's terrible. Uh, our American men are being trampled. Yeah, a absolutely. Um, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, e even even manhood masculinity has just dropped from back in the days. I remember a comment that a guy did the other day. He was just this old guy and he goes, my, my people were Spartans compared to these uh, soy boys that, that come out. You know, it's just, it, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go into uh, the next one. Four. Yeah, it's obvious. Don't, don't hang out with anything that would do anything like that. Do not keep company with a flirtatious woman lest you be taken by her attempts. Um, gentlemen, um, you guys probably don't have a ton of um, experience in this, but I've told you guys this. You know, a, a woman can absolutely mesmerize you with her eyelids and her ways, and, you know, they will spray on um, 
perfume and like almost drug a man or something of the sort. It, but it, the same again. We're not we're not attacking women in any way, way because this this is the same thing. Men do the same stuff, especially a lot of these soy boys nowadays. You know, they you, they smell like cologne and all these these um, perfume style stuff, and the guys just smell like not like dudes anymore. So <laughs> we're getting off the trail. All right, let's continue on. Um, and I just don't see that. I didn't even touch it. I, that was me. I completely own us. Do know where at? Wrong eight. eight. What? Uh, no, we're chapter eight. Eight, eight. We're on nine. We're on Ecclesiastes nine. Nine four. Yeah. We're, we're on five. Nine. Right, right there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's not try to do that again. I'm too old to be doing this. I think. Nine. Okay. Five. Yeah. Five. Okay. Yep. Do not stare upon a maiden, so that you do not fall by that which is precious in her. Um. Okay. I think it's like before, like, don't stare and, like, gaze at the woman. Like King David, right? Yeah. I mean, he, he sat there and supposedly had the greatest... I think this is a married man. The greatest, uh... Greatest eyes known to man. He was able to see this woman bathing, like, a long distance he away. He was on his rooftop. He was on his rooftop. That, that's a good distance, man. I mean, this is... Maybe the bathtub was outside or something? We've talked about this before. Yeah, we don't know if you have been knocked this back in the day? We don't know. Maybe they took, like, some magnifying glasses or something and, like, did something. But um, anyway, we're, we're getting off track here completely. Hopefully it's not buffering too much, Graham. Okay. Um, so if you stare upon a man, if you stare upon a woman, you eventually you will fall within lust, right? You're going to want to fall into lust. And, you know, that is what we are, are meant to stay cling. Our bodies need to stay cling. Our minds need to be cling. Everything that we do needs to be cling in the sight of Yah. And, you know, um, that's one of these things where we, we get with men or women and, you know, we do become uncling by a, a lot of measures. And so you, you need to keep yourself away from that. If you sit there and just stare at women, you're going to fall into that trap. Okay. Six, do not give yourself to whores so that you do not lose your inheritance. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this guy. Uh, what's happening to him? Uh, I think it's inheritance. I think it's talking about like inheritance with Yah. I mean, we, we know the story of the uh, prodigal, prodigal son. son. That's it. And yeah, but he was, got his inheritance back. He didn't well, get his inheritance. Back. He, well, he, can't, he got his place back. He got his spot in the house back. He didn't right. get his inheritance. Was gone. He burned it all. Right. Do you think his dad gave him any more inheritance? I bet he did. You think so? I bet he learned his lesson. You think? Learned his lesson? I don't think he had any more to give him. <laughs> yeah, who what do we give him after that? Okay, yeah, so basically, I mean, the, the whole thing is don't don't defile yourself. Um, you know, whatever it is, when you fall into when you fall into the trap of, especially, I, I, I don't know why this is, is peaking up on whores, but um, when you defile yourself like that, terrible, terrible things are going to happen. You are not going to be seeking our creator because you're not going to be hanging out, number one, with people that are seeking our creator. Right, for sure. And, and who you hang out with is who you become like. And um, you're never going to find, you might find a Torah keeping prostitute, but it's probably not best to even try. What? Okay. Well, I mean, someone would say, you know, you'll never find a Torah keeper. Torah keepers begin somewhere. So, for sure. Okay. Seven. Do not look about in the streets of the city, neither wander in its lonely places. Okay. Um, I think it's time about looking for a win. You think about women are getting stabbed. I think looking for a woman. Uh, this, I think the entire chapter about women. So no, we, it changes a little bit. Okay. So wandering in his lonely places. I mean, in lonely places in cities, um, those are get shanked. Yeah, you can get shanked. You can get sh you can get shot and cut up and all sorts of things. Yeah, I don't know. I guess this is just good advice. Um, eight. <clears throat> Turn your eye away from a good-looking woman, and do not look up on another's loveliness. That was said. Yeah, there's this. Okay, that is absolutely correct, without a shadow of a doubt. That's and you know here in this house, I mean, do you guys remember from ever since you guys were little kids, whenever we saw someone indecent or something that, that wasn't right, what did we do? Look away. Look yeah, away. We, we, everyone was. We we looked away, and um, you know that's the thing is is there's we 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 grew up in Babylon, North America, and so it's like their the clothes became uh, you know kind of an accessory. People didn't even wear them anymore. <laughs> they they literally do. You know, in, in Portland, Oregon, they have. Um, naked bike parades and you know everybody's out there cheering on and everybody's naked and it's just um Weird. it's wild man it's sod well, sod all the celebrities now are going without pants they just celebrities are going without pants yeah they go without pants no yeah. pants who says this there's been a few of them that is, i've seen is this sheep food how are you finding the sheep food <laughs> <laughs> google, news. google news you shouldn't be at sheep food okay uh let's continue on um for many have been deceived by the loveliness of a woman 
for desire is kindled by it like a fire. And yeah, absolutely. You guys have zero experience right here. But it, it is it is that. Your heart, you will do. People march into battle. People will do whatever it takes for a woman. They will conquer entire lands and they will come back and they bring it to their woman. They're like, look, look at all I've done. And they're like, the women are like, ah, oh, that's good. You know, go conquer some more stuff, right? A man, a good woman is usually taken very care of by a good man. Okay, um... <clears throat> Do not sit at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in your arms. Do not spend your silver with her on wine, lest your heart incline toward her, and so though through your desire fall into destruction. These seem like very specific scenarios. This is something not this isn't very this is something absolutely um, wisdom based, right? Number one, stay away from another man's woman, right? Don't sit there do not a lot of times you will find a woman in a marriage that is simply looking for some guy to sit there and flirt with and you will be in trouble right you're committing adultery you're ba breaking commandments you're breaking families up right if a woman has a problem and she's like out there flirting with another guy she needs to turn her attention back to her dude her guy needs to spend that time with her but if you're sitting in there whining and dining another man's wife you're gonna get shot and nothing else you're gonna get your soul um sent to shoal for for being a, a an adulteress at the very least all right let's continue on 10 do not forsake an old friend for the new is not comparable to him okay um let's continue on with that one a friend a new friend is like wine when it is old you shall drink it with pleasure it's it's like if you have a friend right and you your good friends and something happens you break it off and you have a terrible falling out with your friend and then you look for someone else, all those memories, all those times, all those things you've been through together are not going to be the same. You're going to have to rebuild a relationship. You're going to have to re-go through all of that and we'll never be the same. Yeah, and the thing about friendship is it, a good friend is a trusted friend. Um, you know, they they um, they um it takes time, right? It really takes time to get to know people and many, many people will let you down, especially when um, the rubber meets the road it's not what you think. And, and so don't mess with a, a, you don't take on a new friend and kick the old friend to the curb. And um, I think is what that's trying to say. Okay, 11. Do not envy the, do not envy the esteem of a sinner for you do not know what his end shall be. Okay, what was your say? Do envy not the glory of a sinner. So don't envy them because don't envy what they have at this current time because their end is going to be very, be very it's evil. Like the, it's like any football star, sports star, uh, actor. People all put them up as idols, but you you don't know where their end is. You don't know where their soul is going, and that is dangerous. Yeah, you know, people do that. They um, completely idolize not just sports figures, but entertainers and music and uh, groupies. And these people just worship man. And, and you know, at the end of the day... You know, we have a king, and that's to be worshipped. We have a a, um, a a place that is not glory-bound. You know, it's, it's all about look at me, look at me, look at me. And, um, you you know, when you hang out and you, you esteem these guys, you want to be like them, they're just living in sin, doing all the crazy stuff that they're doing. All right, 12. You guys ready? Yep. Okay, 12. Do not delight in that which the wicked have pleasure in, but remember they shall not go unpunished to their grave. And that's that's a huge thing, right? We all know that that this is only a resume. This is a test. What are we going to do? We have 120 years to get this right. Um, you know, is do not delight in that which the wicked have pleasure in. You know, that's the world. The world is is extremely worldly, and um, yeah, there everybody's going to get judged. So we're all going to be judged by the Torah, which is why we need to know the Torah and and do that. Thirteen. Keep far from the man who has power to kill, so the fear of death shall not concern you. All right, and I mean, that's obviously a big thing. Um, many people don't have this kind of fear of, of man killing them, probably back in the day, but um, it, anymore, it's a little more civilized than, than it is there, but that's a big thing, right? Obviously, don't go around somebody who uh, can kill you. And if you encounter him, make no mistake, lest he take away your life immediately. You know, these are like, um, I guess, tips for life. Just Tip make no mistake. Uh, be swift in your movements. Don't don't mess around there. Yeah, don't 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 mess around. I mean, if some guy's, uh, you know, a certified killer, obviously don't hang out. Don't. Shouldn't even be around him. Don't be near him. Yeah, don't and break bread. Crossing path, make it brief. Yeah. Remember that you you walk in the midst of snares, and that you walk upon the walls of the city. 
So, I mean, again, this is where people are, um, you walk into the wrong place, you're going to get owned, you're going to get taken advantage of, and um, I guess the city life is uh, even rough. Sounds like the city isn't what it used to be, or what it, they say it is. 14, when you draw near, reason with your neighbor and consult the wise. Um, what does it mean when you draw near? What do you guys have? As uh, near as you can, guess at your neighbor and consult with the wise. I don't know why we're guessing at the neighbor. I consult the wise, that makes sense, but uh, I have no idea why we're guessing at the neighbor. Yeah, I don't know. Hi, Judy. Is it Judith? Judith. Hi, Judith. Yeah, I couldn't see that. It was at the very bottom. It's Judith. Isn't it Judith Carswell? Yeah. Hi. Hi, everyone. Okay, um, I, I don't know on this. Um, when you draw near, reason with your neighbor and consult with the wise. Guess at your As neighbor. As you draw near with your neighbor, uh, I guess talk out your problems. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know either. 15, let your words be with the wise and all your talk in the law of the most high. All right, anyone on that? Um, so that's good. It says be, talk, talk wisely, talk about the Torah. Let your talks be about the Torah. Yeah, and all your talk in the law of the Most High. That's yeah. the Torah of El Elyon. Yeah. Okay, and let righteous men eat and drink with you, and let your esteem be in the reverence of Yahuwah. Okay, so I mean, that's obvious enough, right? You're yeah, not... you, want, you want to be around good people, because that's what you'll become, is good people. <laughs> Don't bring Slick Eddie over to your house and think everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Okay, 17. For the hand of the craftsman, the work shall be praised, and the wise ruler of the people for his words... Thoughts? Well, uh, when you have wise words, people like that. When you have great things, you make things, people like that as well. It could be the same for the Torah. When you do great things, Yah sees that and he praises you for your good works. Mm, that could be. Jay, do you got anything? I got nothing for this one. Um, a, wise, a wise ruler of the people for his words. Um, the hand of the craftsman, the work shall be praised, right? And so that's anybody that's doing really, really super good stuff. And a wise ruler... Um, shall be praised. I think so that's what I was talking praised, about. Yeah, he'll be praised for his speech. Yeah, and so a wise ruler, obviously. Okay, so 18, a man of an evil tongue is dangerous in his city, and he who is hasty with his words shall be hated. All right, um, this is like city life talk. This is like advice if you move to the city or something. But why does it say a man of an evil tongue is dangerous in his um, city? Probably because he, he has tells, tells secrets. Tells secrets, yeah, he's rumor, gospel, advice to everybody. Yeah, and those people like that, I mean, in a city, that you're going to be, it's kind of like a pack. You dwell in, in city life, right? You, if you live in a city, um, which we absolutely do not, we'd, you, that means you'd actually have to see people face to face, which we actually do not. <laughs> uh, our family's right here at this table. Um, but I guess it's a little bit different in, in the city. And, you know, you mess around and this guy starts speaking evil speak, and you're going to get, like, mugged or something of the sort. All right, I think that's it. Um, the grand said it's all about the most high. Yeah, it's always about the Most High. It's about doing what the Most High wants us to do and it's being part of it. And um, I think that's it. So, anyone have anything? No. Nope. Anyone have anything good advice around this table, gentlemen? Um, don't go near a strange woman or strange man. Yeah. Um, Stay away from the guy that can kill you. Yeah, don't go in the city. Probably shouldn't go in the city anymore. It sounds dangerous. Okay. Um, well, I guess that's it. Everyone in the chat, um, our little family here, we love you guys very, very much. And um, for everybody in the future, we hope that you guys will um, seek our creator where he's able to be found. Uh, the kingdom road is built on the Torah and is built on the Messiah. And those two combos will take us to where we are trying to get. But one without the other doesn't make sense. And one without the other doesn't make sense. And so we, we need to have the, the Torah from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. And then we need to have Messiah. And, you know, Revelation 14, 12 says simply enough that the people who are saved are those who keep the commandments of Elohim and have the faith of Messiah Yahushua. So with that, guys, I think we will bid you guys farewell. We love you guys very much. And we hope to see you guys soon. And we are out. All right. All right. Shalom. Bye, everybody.